So we are here with uh, Anthony, one of the most famous persons of the Garters Polo Club Windsor UK. And we are at the Talocrest Classic Ferrari Tournament, a Monterosso against Ojo Caliente at the Queen's Ground. We all know you had a prestigious career in polo, but we'd like to know how did it start and what got you into polo, maybe at what age? Um, quite late in reality. When I was about 20, I got sent to Brazil by my, by, my, my, by my dad. And when I was working on a farm in Brazil, because of the Falklands War, the, the English pros were buying horses in Brazil. And I was found in a farm in Brazil, in the middle of Brazil, in 1984 or something like that. And I'd never ever seen a polo pony before, but I'd ridden, I'd been brought up racing and hunting all my life. And so horses were kind of natural to me. And so, and that's, and they, they gave me my first job, really. So you're obviously a good rider. <laughs> so they tell me, or I was. Good old But then you that. picked up the skill sets of using a mallet and yeah. playing an actual polo games back, back yeah. in Argentina, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, that, that was in Brazil. Oh, Brazil, do a Yes, because the English weren't allowed in Argentina. Where did you go from there, from and Brazil? I did three years in Brazil doing that bringing horses from Brazil to Argentina to England and look at this here we are together two old boys and um, I did that for three years and then I worked for the Tomlinson's here who Claire Tomlinson said Anthony have to go to um, Argentina when it opens up which was in 1986 and I went to Argentina to work for a guy called Hector Barantes, Barantes who was probably the greatest horse breeder of all time and I worked for him. That was my first job in Argentina. What brought you and your polo back to England? Well then, because you know, all the summers I would come back to England because you know, the, that, that's the season. 